Hi, it's Miss Denise from Aram Public Library, and welcome to Cuisine for Kiddos. Today, we're going to be making spaghetti and meatball muffin bites. And this is what they look like when they're all done. Let me show you what we're going to need to get started. You will need about seven ounces of cooked spaghetti, and it should be cool. You can see I put a little bit of pasta sauce on this so it didn't stick together so much. Two to two and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. You can shred your own or you can buy it already shredded at the grocery store. About a half of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. One egg scrambled, some kind of pasta sauce. You can buy whatever kind you like at the grocery store, or if you want, you could make your own. And you'll need between one and two cups of this, depending on how much you like on your pasta. And meatballs. I bought mine at the grocery store already cooked. If you want to, you could make your own. You also need a 12 cup muffin tin and some kind of a spray to coat the muffin tin. So I'm going to coat my muffin tin right now. And I'm only doing half because I've already practiced. So we're ready to get started. My hands are washed, my counter's wiped off, and let's begin. Um, I'm going to add a scrambled egg to the pasta. Along with about a cup or so of the grated mozzarella cheese. And I'm just eyeballing. <clears throat> About a quarter of a cup of the grated Parmesan. This gives it such a nice flavor. And some of the pasta sauce. I'm not going to do too much, but if you like more, you can add more. So this gets all mixed up together. And my oven is preheating at 375 degrees. And when we have these all assembled, they will bake for about 25 minutes. As with everything, you have to just check and make sure that they're not burning because every oven is different. This really is easy to assemble and something that kids could help with. It's a fun project to do together. Okay. And we have our muffin tin ready to go. And I'm just going to use two spoons to fill each muffin cup. And this is about six or seven ounces of spaghetti. Um, I think it might do more than the, than the um, 12 muffin cups. So then you have extra. And you can see how full I'm filling these. I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute. Yeah, you can see I have some extra. That's okay, I'll do the rest later. 
And now I'm just going to take a fork and kind of twirl it around to fit all the spaghetti into the muffin cup so it's not hanging over the sides. I think that one has a little too much. That's a little better. Twirl this one to make it fit. And this is something kids could help with, the filling of the cups. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of push it down and make a little nest in the center for the meatballs. right in there. And it's okay if it hangs over a little bit. And in the center of each cup, I'm going to put one of my meatballs. Now these, these meatballs are not real large. If you like meatballs a lot, you could get the bigger ones or make bigger ones. It's up to you. And on top of each meatball, about a tablespoon of the pasta sauce. to be dry. There, that looks pretty good. On top of that, mozzarella cheese. As much or as little as you like. And on top of that, a bit of Parmesan cheese. Such a fun recipe to assemble. There. And these will go into the oven at 375 to bake for about 25 minutes. And when they come out, You'll let them cool on a wire rack for just a little bit and use a knife to cut around the edges to loosen them. Put them on a plate to serve. And if you like a little extra sauce to dip them in, serve them with that. So I hope you like this recipe. Have fun with it. See you next time. Bye.